Hello everybody, welcome to Cracking Hundreds. Of course, you know I'm Carolina Hitman, and today um, I'll be doing a review on the Leatherface Leather Face Premium Format Exclusive Edition statue. Um, I really thought Sideshow knocked this out in the park, but um, I'm gonna go into detail about some of the things that I liked, some of the things that I disliked. Um, I hope you enjoy the review. Stick, to, stick with me, and let's get started. For those who aren't familiar with this character, uh, he's from a movie uh, called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which came out in 1974. Uh, and the character was portrayed by Gunnar Hansen. Uh, it's about a group of teenagers who pick up a, a hitchhiker and things go downhill from there. And eventually they're terrorized by a group of cannibals and one of them being Leatherface. Uh, it's an awesome movie. If you've never seen it, please check out the original version. Not any of the remakes, which the remake wasn't bad but there is nothing like the original of course so if you've never seen the movie check out check it out you know download it um on amazon or any any streaming service if you can get it or just pick up the dvd or blu-ray uh, it's a really enjoyable film especially if you like horror movies uh it's really good i'd recommend it especially if you want a little bit more background on this character overall I really, really love how they portray the insanity in Leatherface. And one of the key things for me to do that is the eyes. And I thought they knocked that out the park. Like his eyes in this statue really portrayed a look of insanity. And that was one of the main things I really, really, really was glad about that they did. And I really enjoyed how it turned out and the look of it. Um, this Leatherface is a very insane character. And I thought they did a really good job portraying that with just his eyes and nothing else. Another other thing I love is that my paint application was perfect. No glaring issues, nothing serious, and everything turned out good for me. And I know Sideshow's had a lot of problems with quality control and things of the sort, you know, letting some bad paint get out some things that quality control should have really caught. And for me, I've been one of the lucky ones to where I have not had any issues with any of my statues I've received from Sideshow. And I thought they did a really good job on the paint application on this one. Like I said, his face, his arms, which it really wasn't much to paint to be honest, which except for the chainsaw and the paint and the, um, the head and the arms. But I thought they did a really good job. One of the other things I loved about it was the base. Try and rotate it as easily as I can without getting in your way. I love the base because it showed a lot of key scenes from the movie and it's very detailed. I mean, they, went, they did a really good job. They went out for this one, you know, they went all out for this one and I'm, and I'm glad that they did. And they did a really good job on the base, you know, doing a lot of key scenes from the movie. The detail is very well done. It actually looks like skin sewn in on the base, which I thought was really cool. Of course, one of the most iconic scenes in horror history, that door closing scene. I thought they did a really, really good job on this base. You know, I have no complaints. Like I said, the, it looks like skin on there. The paint application is good. You know, no glaring issues on it at all. And that's what you want to see from, what, you know, from your statue. You pay that much money for something. You really want it to be well done. You know, when you're paying four or five, I'm not, <clears throat> when you're paying four or five hundred dollars for a statue, you want that paint application to be perfect. You know, I understand that sometimes things will happen, but when you're paying that much money for a statue, it should be perfect. And I'm glad they did a really good job on this base. You know, I thought it was re really, very well done. And I have no complaints as far as that, you know, it's a really good, <clears throat> really good base. I said I just the main feature I love in it is where it looks like it's been sewed on with skin and things like that. You know, just little details like that. And I'm glad that they actually went out all out and done. Now on to one of my few complaints about this statue. There's not many, probably only a couple, but this one for me is one of the most glaring ones. Um I think the gore on the on the apron should have been a little bit better. 
You know, I think the, the splatter, you know, the weathering, I think it could have been done a lot better for this statue. You know, you just got one spot in there with a few, you know, trickle down effects from, and a couple splatter, splatter effects from above it. And I think they should have done a, I think they could have done a better job with that. You know, it's a little, I don't, I don't want to say lazy, but it's a little lazy. Let's see if I can move a little bit closer for you all. You know, I just felt like the gore could have been done a lot better. You know, I had a good opportunity to really showcase, you know, some these artists talent, you know, doing some blood splatter, you know, just other things in there. Maybe throwing, kind of painting some, blunt, um, some brain particles or something, I don't know. <laughs> But I just really think that the weathering effect, and that doesn't just pertain to the apron, I think that pertains to the clothes as well. I know this is going to sound weird, but I think the statue's a little too clean. And I think it should, have been, it should have been a little bit dirtier, a little bit grittier. We'll rotate this around here for all of you. You know, I just think that him overall, he should have been a little bit more grittier and dirtier. You got a little bit of weathering in the and the shirt and everything, but I just think it could have been a little bit better. You know, that's, all, that's one of my few complaints, and I don't have many. Um, I also think that the exclusive, which is this little hammer right here. I really don't think that that hammer is a really good exclusive. You know, it doesn't take away or adds to the statue really in any way. Move it up so you can see a little bit better, everybody. Yeah, there you go. Just that little hammer right there by his feet. A little tiny thing. And for me, that's the problem as far as an exclusive. I think an exclusive should really add something to it. You know, to make that statue stand out from the, the regular edition. And that hammer, to me, it doesn't do a good job of that. If you take that hammer out of that statue, off that base, you really wouldn't really miss it or you can really notice it because if it's in a case, you're not even really going to see that hammer. It's just going to seem like a part of the little feathers and thing sprinkled about the, um, the top of the base. So I think the exclusive should have been a lot better for this statue. It deserves a lot better. No, I think they did a really good job. I would have preferred um, far as an exclusive, you know what, to, for me, Make the chainsaw actually metal, because the chainsaw is actually plastic, which I'm not complaining about, you know. That's, I understand that. Let's see if I can lift this up here. It's gonna be a little jarring, but try to be as, as steel as possible. Yeah, like I said, the chainsaw is not bad by any means, you know. I, I really like the chainsaw. I just think it could have been metal, and to me, that could have been a good exclusive. You know, the exclusive could have been an actual metal chainsaw. I just think that the exclusive could have been a little bit better. But other than those minor complaints, as far as the weathering and the exclusive, I have really no more complaints about this statue. I think they did a really good job. So overall, I really, really enjoyed this statue. I think Sasha did an amazing job bringing the character of Leatherface to life. Um, aside from my minor complaints as far as weathering and the exclusive, I think they did an amazing job on the statue. I think that it is a good representation of an icon horror character, which is important to me because I'm a big horror fan. So, if you have the funds, I, rec I highly recommend picking this up. Um, if you go to SciShow Collectibles website, it's getting in low stock right now so it's, they're running they're getting ready to run out it's getting ready to be sold out so if you're a horror fan a st fellow statue collector i highly recommend picking this up before it does because guys you know one as well as i do once it sells out and goes on ebay it's double triple the price sometimes but i really love the statue i think they did an amazing job and my record i gotta give a high recommendation for this statue so if you are, have an opportunity if you're able pick it up i think you'll enjoy it well, that's it for this review, everybody. Uh, of course, this is Carolina Hitman. Thank you for tuning in to Kraken Hunters. Um, if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be trying. I will try to review on a weekly basis different statues and everything. I, I get some. I get some in probably once or twice a month, 
maybe once or twice every other month. But um, I highly recommend the statue. Please pick it up. Thanks for joining me on this review. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Later.